boys and girls, here we are at the pink cave. Yes, we're still not playing pink for these examples because no one has made this in pink yet. Hmm. Anyway, this is an Esch. This is a Stinger Basic 4 with an ash body, a maple neck with some cute little walnut stringers in it, and an ebony fingerboard. This, uh, from what I understand, this is the basic model. What that means is that means that it is passive. So we have a nice big EMG in the spot, which means it's probably going to sound like that bass that has these two letters on the front of it. Not a bad thing. So we have volume and tone. There's not a whole lot to go through control-wise, but there is something to hear. So as we jump into this, I'm just going to kind of fiddle with the tone knob a little bit, but this is what it sounds like. So for all of you who are not... For all of you who are not wanting to hear a slap fest today, something along these lines maybe. Yeah. So it is a very kind of standard sound, but here's the fun thing about this. This neck is like a toothpick. For those of you who like the little skinnies, the little ones that anybody can play with little hands, big hands, medium sized hands, whatever, this is for you. Because the neck, and I'm just gonna hold it like this for a second. You can see it's got a nice volute here for strength, but this neck is skinny, just the way I like them. So here again, let's play a few little more, little tidbits of stuff here. I'm gonna crank the tone all the way down. Sounds pretty groovy. Okay, so again, I'm just going to kind of move it a little bit. aggressive slap tone to it. It's not real heavy weight. I'd say it's probably nine pounds, nine something. Not too bad. And it does have this cool red ash body. This kind of funny, cool, grainy. I like it. It reminds me of a couple things. It reminds me of the Aria Pro 2, except the Aria Pro 2, the old SP1000, had a nice finish where you couldn't feel all the grain. But on top of that, the body shape itself is different. And the fact that it's just red, for those of you who don't like red guitars, you're missing out. If you have questions about this bass, post them here. Post them on Facebook. Post them wherever you have questions. If this thing terrifies you and you have crippling fears, post those down below too, because we'll have some fun with that. In the meantime, get your thumb ready. It's time to slap a bass. Until next time, play some bass. Take care, everybody, as my good friend Andy was saying.